You're watching 13 on your side. Good evening, West Michigan. Thank you for joining us tonight. It's been nearly three weeks since 26-year-old Patrick Leoya was shot and killed by a GRPD officer. Since then, the community has continued to demand justice. Tonight, those calls continued. 13 on your side's Justin Bachman was in downtown Grand Rapids as protesters gathered. Good evening, Justin. Good evening, Elena. The crowd tonight was smaller in comparison to what we've seen in the past few weekends, especially last Saturday, but the message stayed the same. Protesters want the name of the officer released, and they want justice for Patrick Leoya. I, I would say it's community unity. This is what community looks like, like they chant. Saturday's demonstration didn't start with a march. It started with a cookout where the whole community was invited. Yeah, it feels friendly. It, it feels welcoming. You see, everybody feels comfortable. Everybody, like regardless, it's really homeless people coming up here and getting some of the food, people that don't have nowhere to go, people that didn't know where their next meal was going to come. And so it's good to see that this is offered here. One day after his funeral, people came together to celebrate a good time in honor of Patrick Leoya's life. Well, it's so easy to spread negativity. It's so easy to be negative. It's, it's not as easy to stay positive, and so it's, it's, it's good just because the this is what the community needs. After three hours and a meal, the crowd took to the street. I told Patrick's mom that I wouldn't stop protesting, and I'm here yesterday when I actually left the funeral. I was here in the rain with a couple other activists here, and we were here in the rain. So uh, rain, sleet, snow, uh, whatever it is, we'll be out here. It'll be people out here for sure. DeAndre Jones is a community activist. He believes more events like Saturday night will lead to change for other issues in the community as well. There's been a lot of shootings here in our community ever since Patrick got killed, so we need to kind of sim those down. And the way to do that is unity. The way to do that is ending beef and stuff like that. So, you know, step by step. Tomorrow at 1, there is another gathering, this one with the intention of healing, scheduled in the Boston Square neighborhood where Patrick was killed. All right, thank you very much, Justin. Yesterday, hundreds gathered at the Renaissance Church of God in Christ to lay Patrick Leoya to rest. Many stood up to speak at the funeral, including attorney Ben Crump and civil rights activist and Reverend Al Sharpton. As Sharpton gave the eulogy for Patrick, one message was clear. They want justice. Is this the Michigan where just not long ago you would not convict men that threatened to kidnap the governor? Now you going to protect the name of a policeman that shot somebody in the back of the head? Is this Michigan 2022 or Mississippi 1952? When Sharpton spoke with media after the funeral, he said withholding the officer's name sets a bad national precedent. He also called for the U.S. Department of Justice to conduct a civil rights investigation into Patrick's death. As of now, Michigan State Police are still investigating Patrick Leoya's death and the moments leading up to it. A statement released yesterday says detectives are taking every measure to ensure all evidence and facts are accurately collected and documented. Plus, gathering all facts and documenting every piece of evidence takes time, and we appreciate the patience of the community as we work to conduct a thorough and complete investigation. The results will be given to the Kent County prosecutor, who will decide if charges will be filed against the officer.